Hello guys, welcome to another calculus video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this sum, which some of you may recognize as uh, a generalization of the sum that I used in my last video about the Laplace transform. I think the way this sum can be reduced into a pretty simple formula is pretty cool, and so I'm going to make a video on it. This is just a quick video, but that's in preparation for a much bigger video that should come out within the next week. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this proof. So what we're going to do with this sum is we're going to split it up into its um, positive and negative terms. So we have the sum. Uh, the sum is n from n equals 0 to infinity. I'm just going to write it as sigma. Okay, so sigma of negative 1 to the n over a plus b n. Now we're assuming a and b are greater than 0 because otherwise we have to deal with, um, you know, possibly some asymptotes which are going to be annoying. So let's just look at the positive cases for this. And so the positive terms are going to be uh, 1 over a plus 0, so just 1 over a, then plus 1 over a plus 2b, plus 1 over a plus 4b, etc, etc, right? So the way this is going to, what this is going to look like is we can rewrite this instead of terms of m, we're going to write it in terms of k. So, or actually we can just write it, yeah, so we can write this as a sum of 1, a plus 2bn. And then if we look at our odd terms, those are going to be 1 over a plus b plus 1 over, or not our odd terms, I'm sorry. If we look at our negative terms, they're going to be negative. 1 over a plus b, 1 over a plus 3b, 1 over a plus 5b, etc, etc. So these terms are going to just be the general formula, a plus b plus 2bn minus 1 over a plus b plus 2bn. And so as we did in our last um, video, what we're going to divide by here is 2b, because then Every time n changes by 1, the denominator of these two fractions also changes by 1. So we're going to divide out 2b, so that's going to be 1 over 2b right here. And then this is going to become just n. This is just going to become n. I'll do plus n right here. And this is going to be a over 2b. We just divide it on the top and bottom by 2b. And now what we're going to do is we're going to split this up here. I'll just make some space, 1 over 2b times the sum of 1 over a over 2b plus n minus 1 over n plus 1. And then we're going to add 1 over n plus 1 and then subtract 1 over a plus b over 2b plus b. And so this is our big sum. And on the outside, we're just going to add gamma over 2b and subtract gamma over 2b. And so essentially, this part right here, of course, multiplied by 1 over 2b, combined with this part using our formula for digamma, that digamma of x equals negative gamma plus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus z. Using this formula, this bit is just 1 over 2b or negative 1 over 2d digamma of a over 2b, because that's what this is right here. And this part, oh, I'm sorry, uh, this right here where I have plus, this should be plus n, not plus b. n. So this part combined with this part is just going to be plus 1 over 2b, digamma of, um, a plus b over 2b. And that's our answer. So the sum, this sum is equal to this. So that's a pretty cool solution. Uh, I'm sorry this was a shorter video, but hopefully I'll have a much longer one on the way. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.